Hello, everybody. Hope everyone is having a great Wednesday. Just wanted to welcome everyone to our uh, Wednesday evening uh, live so live social shopping with Kim. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. And um, without further ado, since we're on a couple minutes late, sorry about that. I was a little bit of a hot mess here today. Um, we are going to announce our winners from last week. And today we are going to be featuring uh, Shana Pacero and Neon Buddha. So some really great work to weekend kind of pieces. They're all pretty casual, uh, but we thought it was a perfect time of the year. Now that the weather is finally getting nice to feature some um, cotton, all cotton, um, and just some pieces that you can kind of style up different ways. So we're going to show you that tonight. So uh, for those who have not joined us before, my name is Kim. You are joining Johnson's in Gimli, Manitoba. I'm happy to have you along this evening. Each Wednesday at 7, we go live and do a little uh, live try on for you. And um, yeah, it's going to be a fun, a fun 40-ish minutes. We're aiming for about 20 minutes per collection. Um, so we're going to jump right in. Before we do that, um, I will announce the winners from last week. And last week we did Meryl and Keen, and I apologize for that YouTube video. Uh, I had a really hard time getting it loaded, so I finally got it loaded up today. So if you watch today's video, you're like, oh, I thought they were doing it at seven. So that was actually last week's video. <laughs> so we're a little late, um, but it's all good. So I think we're gonna, we'll be just fine. So, okay. So uh, the winners from last week, which we featured Meryl and Keen, um, as well as our sort of backpacks, uh, biking, hiking and backpacks kind of theme. Uh, we have, and I have did, didn't have a chance to message these ladies either, so if they are on live or if you're the winner and you're on live, just give us a little woohoo. Uh, super excited. Um, we have our live grand prize. Uh, the person who watched live uh, was Kristen Johnson from Winnipeg, and that was for the Keen Sandals of your choice. So congratulations, Kristen. Uh, for the replay grand prize, and that was the Merrill Sandals, our winner was Sue Steinmetz. Congratulations. Uh, for our door prizes, we have the, the little packing pouches. I just realized I forgot them in the office. So the little like three packing cubes that we showed last week. Uh, that was went to Gaylene Robertson from Winnipeg. So congratulations, Gaylene. I'll be messaging you to either send out your prize or if you're going to be out, we can pick it up. And the cinch sack with the little ocean uh, cinch sack goes to Tamara Hudson from Pegwis. So yeah, we had a couple of um, all different places winners today. So that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, so thank you everybody for watching and you may be wondering if this is your first time joining us, how do you enter the draws? So the most important thing for the video is, hi, my name is, send, leave us a comment on the video. Hi, my name is, where you're watching from and are you watching live or on the replay? Because we do do separate winners for both um, areas. So, okay, so without further ado, we, do, we are going to do it kind of like a storyboard, uh, similar to how we did it for our last uh, dresses for all occasions. And the reason for this is because you kind of can see where the coloration starts. So it's kind of a color blocking type of effect. And if depending on how you want to wear it, if you want to go head to toe in one color, you can do that. You can, if you want to mix and match, you can certainly do that. Um, and I'm just going to kind of bring some of the pieces a little bit closer so you can see kind of a little bit more in detail what they entail. So Shana Pissero is a Canadian designer. She used to be part of Neon Buddha, one half of Neon Buddha, and she is now the whole owner of her own brand, um, named, named after her namesake brand. Uh, she also owns a store called The Post Office in Thorold, Ontario, and she's a Canadian female entrepreneur just like us. So we're super excited to be uh, featuring uh, her products. We try to do that whenever possible. Um, some of you might uh, recognize our Caracol jewelry that is also owned by uh, sister, I believe it's two sisters from Quebec, um, also Canadian female entrepreneurs. So whenever possible, uh, we always try to, to support um, that because that's who we are. So, okay, so the first color story that we're going to show you is kind of the um, navy white and the pink, which is actually called Frequency, kind of an odd um, odd color name. Uh, I always say when I grow up, I'm going to be a color namer and that's probably not one of the colors that I would choose, but definitely I, it's definitely one of my personal favorite colors. So, okay. So we're going to do some coordinates and Maggie is with us again this evening. So I'm fortunate to have her as well. And she's going to show us, uh, the, um, one of the dresses to start. So this is definitely really different, um, really different look for her. And it's just kind of one of those super easy breezy dresses. We do have a little uh, little house on the prairie frill on the bottom. And it's just like sort of slight though, right? So, and also a spaghetti strap on top. 
So definitely not maybe as bra friendly as some of the other ones. You probably would have to do a strapless or you'd have to do a clear strap. And what's the back like? Mm. Back is normal. So she definitely would probably have to tie it in a little bit just to kind of give her a bit more, um, a bit more fit, but it's kind of in that really nice, even weave kind of fabrication. So I'm going to show you what the fabric is up close. Cause it's kind of, oops, sorry. That was my foot. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to see on the dress, but really pretty. And it's sort of a permanent press, um, almost like sort of bubblegum kind of fabric. That's what it kind of reminds me of. So we have lots and lots of pieces in it to get through, but I wanted to show the dress on because on the hanger, the dress really doesn't look like anything. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> um, see, we're, we're all about Facebook Live, right? No editing. Um, okay, so the nice thing about this is it kind of drapes right from that center point, right? So really a pretty dress. If you're someone who likes kind of just that a-line hang it's a really fun style you could also throw a little jean jacket on and kind of funk that one up a little bit so it's got pockets oh and it has pockets of course so that's super perfect and, then and underneath i'm wearing the shannon passero i'm gonna lift my dress oh go guys. ahead like you like you say <laughs> the Facebook shannon Live. passero bamboo right? yeah they're the all bamboo, bamboo shorts yeah so although they are not intended to be sort of sucker in or shorts they really they definitely, are definitely yeah yeah they definitely and they give are. a really nice smooth line yeah, so no this is, seams. Yeah, no seam and knit on a circular, like it's a, it's a circle knit, so there's no actual seam anywhere. So really, yeah. really, really comfy. Here's the, the Yeah, white. so they come in black, white, or navy. Do we have navy? Yeah, we do have navy. Yeah, black, white, or navy, and they come up really nice and high, like almost to your bra line. Yeah, if I really wanted to, I could probably stretch it and yeah. tuck it. <laughs> and like tuck it in, right? So um, those kind of are a, a bit of a sleeper kind of item. They're very handy to wear under any shorter dress in the summer that you're just a little bit conscious that it's maybe a little bit too short. Or if you're thinking that you're maybe golfing and you're wanting to wear something shorter that you're going to have to bend down and get the ball or whatever. Um, huge, huge item for Shanna Passero. This is our first season carrying them. So we are kind of just getting used to them. But after seeing them on to this evening, oh my goodness, I'm certainly going to try a pair myself. So yeah, super pretty. All right, so we're gonna start whipping through here because like I say, it's like 7-Eleven, it's 7-Eleven. Um, and yeah, I could, we could be here till midnight if you if you wait for me to stop talking. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we have just kind of an easy breezy and I'm gonna quote um, style names because if you say to me, you know that little navy top you had in the video last night? I want that. Um, it'll be like a needle in a haystack. So I'm gonna, um, I am going to quote names just so that if you wanna jot them down, and then you can either call or email or whatever or screenshot so feel free to screenshot and we can certainly figure that out so this one is called annette and it is kind of a drop shoulder nice v-neck kind of that peasanty kind of top look and this one has a finished hem so you'll notice that some of them have a finished hem and some of them have that really ratchy um frayed hem so it just kind of depends on what you're what you're thinking of okay and then we'll do i should have done the pants first oh well so ergo to the frayed hem, this is the other piece. So this one definitely has the same type of fit. And this one is called Kelly. And it kind of has as well that bit of a yoke front, but look at the bottom. So it really has that real casual look to it. And if you can't get away from that fraying, or if you feel that you're going to like be trimming it all the time, then you should maybe stick to the other one. I love the frayed. I think it's super fun. Um, you've maybe have, I think on the other video, I was wearing all head to toe in this, the frayed tank and the frayed capri. And then I had this over top. So that's also one of the intended um, thoughts. And I bought the whole set and I love it. It's so comfortable. It feels like really like you're wearing pajamas, but very breathable and very drapey. So, okay. So we, next we have Kelly and this guy this is the same shirt this is called bobby and this is your nice sort of camp sleeve shirt um no shoulder seam here though so notice it's going to be pretty slouchy in this area so it's not going to be sort of a set in sleeve it's going to be just a real nice slouch fit it does have a bit of a kick at the back so it's going to give you a little bit of movement here and a nice little seam across so this one is called this color is frequency and then we also have it in white. So this is actually a nice little topper. If you're thinking of, you know, over like a really casual dress or over jeans, if you want to put a little tank with it. So don't just think head to toe in the same fabric. Like think of it as putting it into that summer capsule that we were talking about on Thursday or on Tuesday. Um, 
I like head to toe, but certainly people are buying it to mix in with what they already have. So just kind of think of it both ways while you're watching the video. Okay, so Bobby comes in two colors. And then we're going to really quickly switch and I'll do one pant and then the other pant. Or do we have three pants? Mm. See, if I would have actually prepped for the video, I would know if I oh, had three I pants. <laughs> we have just two. <laughs> okay, so this one is called the Lily Crop. And this is the one that uh, I bought that came in this color. So it does have that ratchety bottom. Kind of a... They are both Lily. Okay, they're both Lily. Good, whew, <laughs> good thing. And then this is the one that goes with what I'm wearing. So I have actually worn this with the black tank lots. Um, I've worn the sweater more than I thought I was going to. And it looks really cute with kind of that um, color block look underneath. And I've also worn it with white underneath. So, okay, so both colors come in both styles. They come extra small to extra large and they do fit quite generously. So if you're ordering online, I would consider sizing down. The other thing that they do is kind of stretch a little bit. Like they don't stretch, but they kind of like relax, if that makes sense. So I actually threw mine in the dryer just to kind of, you know, tighten them up again. And they didn't shrink, like they worked out fine. So, okay, so extra small to extra large in the pants. Okay, and then, the same as the oh right, same as this. Okay, so we have another color in Kelly which is the navy and I I think this is a really cute top even just to do that little tuck and you've got that really ratchy sleeve super cute so this would be a really nice piece to stand on its own just in a nice navy peasant kind of has that boho kind of a look to it um, a little bit of not gathering but it does give you a little bit of extra um, volume in here kind of same as the dress did so kind of had that little bit extra volume at the back um, this one will definitely do that as well really cute with jeans for the it summer. It would be really cute. That's a, kind of what I was thinking. Same with the white one, I think would be. Yeah, really even cute. if you did like a little white short that was shorter and had that on top, that would be really mm -hmm. cute. Okay, so we're there. There we are for that. And then we were talking about our navy and white yesterday. And I ve I was very close to putting this pant into that collection because it actually fit perfect with the tribal stuff. So this is a really breezy wide leg crop. So wide leg crops are kind of all the rage this year. They're showing tons of them. You have to be a little bit careful about that depending on your size and your height. Um, I think a taller person suits the proportion a bit better. Um, but having said that, I'm 5'6", and I would definitely pick this for myself for sure. It's a little bit longer than the other Capri uh, that I picked. So it definitely, but it has a very wide bottom. So you have to be sort of okay with that look. It's not fit and flare, it kind of drops from the hip. So, and then also super cute in the white. So for our little beachside vibes, I'm just gonna turn my volume up, I forgot to do that. There, can everyone hear me better? Now that we have volume. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so the white is definitely fits in with that little seaside vibe, perfect. Um, I'm glad now that I didn't pull it in, but think of yesterday's video when you're kind of looking at these colors because lots of the tops in there would fit into this really, really nice as well. So, okay, so now we have the long crop. And then, so last but not least, I actually fit what I should have done earlier. Uh, just to go about your, go about what your evening. I'm just gonna unbutton this. It might take me a little while. Um, I'm gonna start layering some of these because that kind of is the beauty of Shannon Passero is you can kind of layer those pieces and it really amasses a whole different look. Sorry, I should have done this earlier, but okay, now we're good. Okay, so think about doing this as sort of an overshirt. There. Okay, now this makes sense. So we're gonna do kind of that big baggy, almost like a shirt jacket. Uh, we've got our little roll up sleeve, um, fun little button detail. So kind of a mother of pearl button, really nice. And we're doing it with a little white tank underneath. So think about going, if you're that person, like me, this is how I would do it. Um, think about going head to toe this way, but also think about that with a really cute little pair of skinnier jeans, wider jeans, and just have this as your top set, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think this is a super cute little look together. And I like the neckline as well. So we're looking at, oh, I was, I told you I was going to tell you names. I already forgot. Oh, sorry. Uh, Kesha top. And that's the, um, over piece. And then we have the tank is called Sasha A-line tank. Okay. 
So I'm very glad that I did a little picture of that because I already took it apart. Okay, so next on the list of our storyboarding adventure uh, is the dresses. So there is tons of really fun dresses. So although uh, Maggie had showed that to us in the first section, I'm going to show it to you now in the second one. And most of this makes sense, but not all of it. So when I was buying, there was just a few pieces that I felt, okay, I really need that in black. I really need an extra piece. Um, so although there is not really black in the collection, some of these are just a no brainer black piece. So I'm going to point that out as we go. Um, this is one of them for sure. And then we're going to continue on with our Navy story. Okay. So what I kind of pulled in here was because I fell in love with this little granny square type of embroidery, I kind of pulled in those two. Oh, here's the other tights. We'll go over that. Okay. And okay. So we'll, we'll start with this guy. Okay, so this one is either a dress or a tunic, depending on how tall you are. It is cut on the bias, so when you put it on, it kind of like, like lifts up a little bit, right? So if you want it to be a little bit longer, I would maybe size up. Might not make much of a difference um, when you're actually wearing it, but you will get a little bit more length out of it. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so this has a little bit of a sleeve seam down the back, and this one is called the Layla dress. So this one for me, and I'm 5'6", would be, it's a little bit shorter in the front, longer in the back. It would be above the knee in the front and below the knee in the back. And this is a size small. So in my regular size, it probably would be even a little bit longer. But I love that this has a little bit of a sleeve. So many people don't want sleeveless. Or it's like, oh, well, can I buy sleeveless? Well, then I have to buy something to go over top. And, you know, it becomes complicated. So yeah, so this is super easy breezy, almost like this could be a bathing suit cover up. It could be something that you wear to a backyard wedding. Like both options are certainly doable. And then is this the same guy? Yes. So then we have Layla in this beautiful color and I basically just fall in love with this color. So I had to build a little collection around it, but isn't that just a great summer dress color? So gorgeous. And the, the colors come out so vibrant in this fabric. So I, lots of, uh, lots of the pieces were sort of more of the earth tones and stuff. And I just fell in love with the vibrancy of all of these bright shades. So, uh, both of these come extra small to extra large, and we are getting a little bit low on sizes. Like some things were definitely, um, lower than others, but these two, and then the basis of the group. Oh, we have our live model happenstance. Perfect. So the basis of the group is that little, um, would you say cover up -y? I like, would say cover up -y, definitely for someone 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, yeah. Because although the back is longer, it's shorter in the front and there's... A little it slit. slits a little bit. So with the slit and it being a little shorter in the front... Yeah. I couldn't get away with just wearing it as a dress. I agree. I agree. I think though if you were someone who was petite and it hit you longer everywhere... Oh yeah, that would be really cute as a dress. Then I think yeah. you could get away with it as a dress. And then we would, we could pull these in, right? Like we could pull in that little bamboo short in the, even in the mm -hmm. white, right? Like to have an extra little, um, an option or in the black. And I'm wearing the Shannon Pissarro black bamboo tights. Same sort of feel with the tummy. Mm -hmm. Are they sucking. as high? I wouldn't say they're as high. Okay. Interesting. And, but yeah. oh my gosh, they look so comfy. Yeah. Super same comfy. stretchy bamboo. Yeah. But, and nice because they kind of wick moisture away, you know, nice for the summer. Um, but yeah, so that I think if you're taller, think about that for a top. If you're shorter, you could definitely do it as a little dress or as a bathing suit cover up. See, as soon as I saw that, that's mm -hmm. kind of what came to mind. Very, very open sleeve, like really no shoulder line mm -hmm. and just super hangy and fun for the summer. So yeah, I love well, that. Even taller, like I could wear this to the beach as a cover up. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. With a bathing suit underneath, I think it would work really well. Um, okay, so that's what we kind of did with this whole collection. Once I saw this, I'm like, yeah, I definitely have to build something on that because it's so gorgeous. And I love that little knit trim. So, okay, so we have, did I talk about this black one? Yes. So this is a little bit different yet again. This one is called the Mia tank dress. It's a little bit shorter, but it does have that kick in the back. 
So it's gonna be more of an A-line type of a fit. The other ones are a little bit more straight, but it's that same great bubbly fabric, right? So love it. Okay, so in this collection, this is kind of where we're going with the color. And I think it's perfect for summer. Okay, so moving along in the long dress, maxi dress department, um, these ones, very, did you try them on earlier? I didn't. I tried them on, and of course not my particular cut, but they were actually a little bit shorter than I anticipated because they're cut on the bias. So it kind of hit a little bit higher even than it is now. But if you're that person who likes sort of a more boxy dress, um, it is definitely super, super fun. Um, a couple of ladies who tried it on had suggested that they might even belt it. Um, mm. and do like an empire belt, which I think would be fun would be really cute. and totally change the look. So if you don't like that kind of paper bag, for lack of a better word, paper bag kind of style, um, you could probably do some fun things with accessories with this. And this one is called the Alicia dress. And it also comes in this fun color, which is almost like a grapey purple and it's called snooze. What a great color. Now that is a color that I yeah. would name as a color neighbor. And it's kind of like a gray blue, but super gorgeous. Yeah, so this one, like for me, not so much, but like I think if Maggie did put it on, it would definitely be a little shorter than you might think when, when you try it on. But so yeah, lots of people have said, oh, look, I could never wear that. It's too long. But you know what? You might surprise yourself. So yeah. Okay, and then last but not least is the other cover up piece. So cute. Super cute. It has a really great blanket stitch on it as well. And of course, I love anything sort of Southwesty, right? So that kind of that blanket stitch really speaks to me. It does have a hood. And again, supremo gorgeous bathing suit cover up, like right, right off the bat. Um, I think if you went south in the winter, this would be a great piece and also in the Navy. Yeah. And it has a little hood. So does this one I'm wearing. Over the yeah. Mm. It is hard to see unless you. Let's see how it yeah. looks. Oh, and it even has the granny square on the hood or whatever that's called. Oh, it's super fun. Raining or something. Yeah. <laughs> or you just want to be like super fun and cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was like way longer than 20 minutes. Okay, we're at, we're six minutes over. Yikes. Okay, so we are going to continue right along here. And I'm just going to do a quick whip of these. Um, we have the little tank. I'm not going to put these all up because you're going to be here till 10 o'clock. Um, this is the longer tank with the kick at the back uh, in the Mia. And that's what we had earlier in the white. And so see what I mean? Like when you kind of like sort of get down and dirty into this, there is lots of different fits. It's our first time trying this brand. So we wanted to kind of dip our toe in a little bit just to see what fits work for our customers. So yeah, um, then there's this one. That's also the kick. Is this Mia? Let's see. Then we have Sasha. So this one is a little bit more of a curved bottom, but still has that little A-line kick in the back. We have another little Sasha. Oh, now we have Katie. So when, even when I was trying on for that last video, like I tried on all the tanks and they did fit pretty differently. So um, that's fun in the navy. Also in the white, this one is also Katie. So the navy and white is the same. And they really look different in the colors, I think. Next, we have a little one with a sleeve. So similar to that Mia dress, this one is called Nate Short Sleeve. I think this one's actually fun. That would be cute with tights if I was a tights person, which I'm not, but I think it would be cute. And this guy is Nate again. So same bottom, same bodice, I should say. And this one's actually super fun. It's very open. It kind of has that bit of a sixties flare, um, really no shoulder seam. So just kind of a drape shoulder and a really wide square bottom. So I love this one myself. And this one's called Amy. Okay. So admittedly, that was a little bit on the long side. I just got too excited about the color blocking print combinations. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to uh, Neon Buddha. And Maggie's gonna show us one of the little sporty looks first, and then I'm gonna put up the combinations. Okay, so this is a new um, kind of an effect. It's almost like of a marbling type of effect in that um, cut and sew kind of pattern. So definitely a little bit more workout-ish. Uh, super cute hood on it. And if you know and love Neon Buddha, this is the traditional um, weight of fabric. Show the print. Yeah, I know. It, it's so kind, it's of, kind of kind of marbly. Yeah, it is kind of a hard print to see, but it's a nice length. It's not too long. No, kind of has that athletic length. look to it. And the really um, fun little tight with the ruching at the bottom. Yes. And we have that one in gray as well. And they so. fit 
the tights, I would say, fit pretty generously through the hip and waist. Actually. Okay. And, and so that was a small you're trying? Yeah. I yeah. Buy the extra yeah. And, small. and she'd buy the extra small. Okay. So that's good. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Neon Buddha generally does fit a little bit generously. I agree with that for sure. And I'm going to put up the storyboards in two uh, just really quickly so that you can see, again, the amount of uh, mix and match capability. So if you know what love Neon Buddha, you know that sort of that classic jacket, a um, little bit of rouge pockets, that's one of the pieces that they do every year. And I did kind of color it fairly, um, fairly pl not plain, but like even this year. So sometimes they have really crazy um, prints. They have really, they have really bright and bold colors. And I thought, you know what, for a change, thank you. This is what happens when you don't practice. You just fly by the seat of your pants. Perfect. Oh, yeah, so, so there, so there is where you see that little bit extra color blocking, right? So here's the other pieces, and then we can go this way as well. And we'll do that guy. And well, Kim puts different. the rest up. Yeah. I'm wearing. Oh, can't see there. The new Echo shoes. We just got them in today or yesterday. Yes, we've been super happy. We were able to actually repeat these. Um, lots of people have been in and loved the. It was a, there's also one that's a little kind of a wine shimmer, and also an apricot nubuck. Everybody has loved them, except that most people have said, oh, it's too bad you don't have these in black because I would buy them. So when I was repeating last week, I was able to order them in black, which is excellent. Um, and yeah, we both kind of said as soon as she put them on, we're like, oh my God, those are way nicer in black than I thought they were going yeah. to be. So yeah, super cute. Okay, so we're going to continue on with a little bit, a few dresses. So this is a, if you know and love Neon Buddha, this is a dress they've done in the line for a long time. Um, it does fit a little bit closer than you might think um, when Maggie tried it on. She actually thought it was a little bit more um, fitted, or a little bit more loose, and it actually was a little bit more fit. Are you trying this one next? Yeah. Yeah, so she's gonna put this on for us right away, so I won't spend too much time on it. Um, but what I will do is just kind of give you a really quick highlight. Yeah. Of... So this is kind of a fun little fashion piece. So this is a great little pant, pull-on pant, and this is definitely a more missier fit. So we picked those just a little bit more junior fit. This is definitely sort of your, your average every day. Um, great little wide waistband and just a jersey knit. So very cool and comfortable. And we paired it with the uh, color blocked tee. This is actually a bit of a mixed fabrication as well. So it's got that little boucle slub, a fun little um, tee that's got the rib neck or the rolled neck and then a cute drop shoulder. So I'm generally not a big fan of drop shoulders like this. Anyone with big shoulders like me, um, I probably wouldn't pick this for myself, but de definitely um, on somebody taller, it, it really is a cute look. So give it a try. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of the basis for the grouping along with what she's wearing. And then I'm just gonna show you the extra internal pieces that sometimes just make it work. So we have the same pant in black in gray. And of course, Neon Buddha always does such a great job of these little buttons if I could actually do this properly so all the buttons are different we have a little mother of pearl button we have some fun little extra buttons and a tulip bottom so quite cute actually and that's the same pant like I say same pant in the black and the gray and then we have just a couple little easy breezy tops like just a nice mixed media again so we have a uh, regular front and then the boucle back boucle rib in the back very comfy and then just a nice little classic white t-shirt. Little kick at the bottom. As well. Oh yeah, the cute the bottom is really cute on that too. So kind of t-shirts that you could layer or you could wear on their own. The nice thing about having a good classic, good quality t-shirt is that it doesn't ever look scrungy. You know, like sometimes you buy a cheaper t-shirt and like you wear it, wash it once, and it's like, oh, I hate this t-shirt. So these are definitely gonna last. I have some neon Buddha jackets in my closet that are like embarrassingly old, like f at least five years old, if not longer. And I've washed them with the applique buttons and everything a million times and they come out great. So although they are a little bit um, more expensive initially, you definitely uh, can wash them a thousand times and they come out always looking really, really nice. Okay, then we move into a little bit of a crop. So this I would say would be an ankle or full length pant on lots of us. We move into a crop. And this is in that kind of high-low boucle. This is one of my favorite fabrics, actually, to wear. It's so comfy and cozy. And it really camouflages a little bit, too, because it's not super skinny. And then here's your classic Neon Buddha. This one is definitely a heavier weight jacket. It's got tons of stretch in it. These ones are a lighter weight and not really... They're just an interlock. They don't really have stretch in them. 
but a fun little open bottom as well. So kind of similar to the Shannon Passero, got that fun little kind of loosey goosey open bum, open bum, open bottom. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then just the last piece in this grouping would be just that little bit of a novelty t-shirt. So you, of course she's got her fun little, little buttons here. And that kind of, that's what makes Neon Buddha, Neon Buddha is the fun little buttons. Uh, three quarter sleeve, really nice with tights. Um, or as well, just a regular, the gray pant as well. Okay, so that's our first grouping. And I'm going to leave that dress here just because she's going to put that on right away. So yeah, the dress comes in black and gray. And really looks quite different in black. Like it looks definitely a little bit more elegant. It doesn't have that kind of athletic look to it, which the gray sometimes does. Okay, and now this is the same grouping. I just didn't have room to put everything up. So when we were buying, I kind of put everything together like in that white, gray, black combination, thinking that you're gonna pull some colors in from what you already have, maybe some other Neon Buddha pieces or just some other, um, some other things that you'd love in your closet. So this is a great little tank. I'm gonna show you this a little bit up close before you put it, before I put it up. It's a classic tank, really nice seaming on this one though. Very cute and just a bit of a rolled edge. And also um, another nice jacket that is very much lighter than the previous white jacket. So the other white jacket that I showed with the gray, this one probably is a better match to it fabric wise. And it is again, that mixed media. I love those little patchwork pockets and stuff. So cute. Okay. Okay. So Maggie's going to show us that second dress. Look how gorgeous it looks on like, oh my goodness so nice so those layers it's very hard to tell those layers on the rack you really have to put it on the body to actually see where they hit right in case you can't see in the black so it's layered like that on both sides the layering is on the back as well mm -hmm. and it is sewn down so it's certainly not I mean, the, the key is i think buying the right size so it doesn't start rolling because if you get it too tight it will sort of have roll up, that roll up effect mm -hmm. a little bit, but yeah, it is gorgeous. And it's a, really it's, comfortable. It's a fun little new length. Like it's kind of almost that chapel length, but it is not quite like chapel to me is almost like halfway between. So she's got about an inch up from that traditional chapel length. I think it's a really fun, nice new length. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So just a really nice, cute, fun summer dress. So the antithesis of that dress would be just something that's very easy breezy. Um, it is. It does have the layering on the bottom still, but it's A-line. So it's not gonna have that figure forming effect. It's gonna just flow right from the bodice. Really cute. And that is in that high-low slub and it's lined. So I'm gonna put my hand in there here so you can see. You're definitely not gonna see through it. So it's a double layer dress. That's always the challenging thing about a white dress. What do you wear underneath it? Um, this is two layer all the way. So great option. So for me, this would be my choice. Absolutely. I could even wear it with my sweater. Look how cute it would mm -hmm. look at that. Okay. So we're going to continue on here. Just kind of showing a couple of the fashion pieces. This is why I don't do too great of a job with my storyboarding because I always got to take it off. Um, another colorway in that wide crop, same as the gray, really nice black, dark black. And then lots and lots. So although this might look sort of boring with all the white tops, when you try them, you're like, oh, they're so nice and elegant. Same um, tank as we had. Um, another little layered tank. So this is a different tank. Also comes in the gray. It's a very nice plain gray tank if you're layering. And then just that nice open body in the slub. So that's been cute. Kind of a bit of a a bit of a neutral combination, which is unusual for me, but it definitely has its place. And if you're traveling, I'll just, did I show this already? Yes, I did. Um, if you're traveling, this Neon Buddha is unbelievable to travel with. So I've taken it most of the time um, when I've gone south. It's a great, great couple pieces to travel in as well on the plane. Um, and I think I missed this tank in the white. So that's the same as we have in the black. And last but not least, we have our little waffle weave. 
So this is a bit of a heavier weight fabric, but it is sort of a traditional waffle weave. Super pretty. And again, has that little bit of exposed seaming, but it's nice and flat. It's not rolling like the dress did. And cute little fun, fun um, buttons on the bottom. And nice back to gray as well. Like look at how they pull in that gray. Really, really pretty. And then we paired it here with just that breezy jacket. Really, this is a perfect travel jacket. Mm -hmm. If you're going to California or Florida in the winter and you want just that little bit of a layer for the evening, this is ideal. Has a bit of a kick in the back and no hood, which is kind of nice if you're flying. So yeah, these ones actually have been good. We don't have very many left at all. Um, yeah, okay, did we catch up in time? <gasps> oh, we've caught up. <laughs> Three, 7.39, awesome. Now I have time to chat. Um, yeah, so we have lots and lots of uh, differential uh, pairings that we could certainly do. Um, and also for this sweater, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces that I thought I was gonna, I, I wore it for the video and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then I had so many co um, comments on the video that said, oh, I hope you bought the sweater. And I've worn it so much. Oh, there's one more sweater actually, I forgot. Yes, yeah. Good thing, I, good thing I was talking about that sweater and had time to chat. Um, I own this sweater from like a hundred years ago in another color and it's a very traditional Neon Buddha pure, well, pure sweaters as well. Same, same company. Very, very nice, easy combination. What size is this? Medium. Is there a big one? I could even put this on. It's very cute on. Is there a large? Yeah, maybe. A whole, I'll suck in. Oh, oh we're caught. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. See, who knew I was going to do a live try on tonight? <laughs> there you go. You never know what you're gonna get in this video. Okay. Oh, so, so yeah, definitely one size too small, but you can kind of see how it kind of comes in in the waist. That's what I love about this style. And it still kind of has a waterfall, right? So it brings me in here where I'm smaller and kind of has that waterfall type of effect. And I love that it has a sleeve. So for me, I'm not, not a big fan of sleeveless. And this one, I love this sweater. It's, it's, it was a little bit warm today. It's a hot day, right? So even with what I'm wearing today, this definitely would be perfect and it just kind of gives such a nice shape towards the bottom so yeah one of my favorites I think I have it in a jade green and I have it in white and like it's just one of those things that you put on all of all, all the time especially in the summer over a tank it's ideal for that so anyways um thank you guys for joining us and for putting up with our sort of haphazardness today um it was just one of those days where like what are we gonna do for the video and I was like well we'll just wing it and I think we had lots of fun anyway so Sometimes it's just fun to kind of shop together and put things together that you might not have thought of. Um, and then you can always kind of come back to the video and uh, do some screenshots. What might you want to look, have a second look at um, and feel free to email it to us or give us a call, pop in if you're local. And um, don't forget, if you're just joining us late, make sure that you leave a comment on the video saying, hi, my name is, where are you watching from? And are you watching live or on the replay? Uh, officially 24 hours for the replay to enter into the draws, but let's face it, I'm probably not gonna get to watching the whole video <laughs> before 24 hours. So if I catch your comment before I do the draws and it says replay, then you are entered. So thank you again for joining us. And um, I hope that it added a little bit of life and color uh, to your evening. And we'll look forward to seeing you, what day is it today, Wednesday? We'll look forward to seeing you on Fashion Friday. Um, we're always going to have some fun things to show you. And hopefully uh, Fashion Friday will be, uh, it might even be like bathing suits or like something really, really summery. So anyways, you'll have to tune in to find out. Have a wonderful Wednesday evening and we will chat soon. Talk to you later. Bye.